there. When parents are at work, where is the best place for two-year-olds to be cared for? The government now believes school could be the answer. They want nurseries attached to schools to widen their intake by accepting toddlers from the age of two and to increase their opening hours. The idea is to help working parents and to help solve the childcare crisis. The average nursery place used to cost around £60 a week in 2003, but it now costs around £106. That's an increase of 77%. But parents are divided on whether school is the best place for toddlers. It will get them into education quicker and it's good for their progress and development. In my opinion, too young, their babies, they'll be falling asleep all day. I'm a student, I'm also a working mum. It's quite hard to like um, try to find people to like look after your child if you can't afford childcare. Before taking in two-year-olds, school nurseries have to register with Ofsted and that, according to the government, is putting schools off. They want to make it easier for school nurseries by removing that red tape, which in turn could open up tens of thousands of places. What we're saying is school nurseries can open for longer hours, they can offer more flexible packages for parents, so whether that's three sets of five hours or two sets of seven and a half hours. And they can also use their facilities better because if they're open from eight till six, that's 60% additional capacity in school nurseries, which can then be used to offer more hours to more parents. The government's giving just under £50,000 to a number of schools to test the scheme, but others believe it's childcare on the cheap. The question that I would ask parents and head teachers is whether they feel as though the environment that they provide, which may be suitable for three, four-year-olds and upwards, whether that is actually appropriate for two-year-olds. The success of the scheme will be decided later this year and if it's as beneficial to working parents as it is to their children. Charlotte Grant, Channel 5 News.